Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use my recovery apps. Um, and as you can see here, uh, the recovery apps are here, photo recovery, video recovery, document recovery, and audio recovery. Um, each one actually works exactly the same except they recover different file types. So let me, I'm just going to show you how to use the photo recovery, but keep in mind that the other ones work exactly the same. So let's get started. Uh, after you open the app, you'll be uh, in, introduced to a very uh, simple user interface. Um, the program is super simple. Uh, you literally just start running the app by clicking recovery algorithm. You choose one, um, and uh, you start it. You'll be um, there'll be a little bit of uh, time as it does work. Once it finishes, um, you finish the uh, you fi you finish the algorithm, and you can go see what you recover. So let's go view our recover media. Uh, you can see there's a photo called All Recover Photo One, uh, and oh, you recover quite a quite a few photos. Let's check to see what this photo is. Oh, it's a screenshot. Nice. Um, yeah, so you uh, you can also recover the SD card. So if I were to run the run the, um, the photo recovery with the SD card, you'll see that um, it searches my SD card too, and a new folder called All Recovered SD One is created. Uh, there's also tools to help you after you recover your photos. For example, the file browser that we've been using. This is used to browse files. You can actually uh, right-click on the files and click file transfer to email or Google Drive it to yourself or you know um, uh, the file the file transfer uh, what this does is it actually zips your photos together um, in case you have too many and you can send it um, to uh, to, your, to your computer or to a different device um, see as, as you can see it it loads up all the photos you can zip them all up uh, the the zipping takes a while sometimes, um, and uh, also um, uh, there's a a website with a lot of instructions. Uh, and uh, there we go. So if you click transfer files, you can attach this using I don't know Gmail. There it is. And uh, yeah, so you could alternatively just do it like this. That'll work too. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. So, uh, I would really recommend you actually check out the recycle bin apps. These are sort of like prevention. Um, if you have the recycle bin apps running in the background, then you, you wouldn't really even need the recycle the photo recovery. But in case you forget to turn it on or if you don't have them, then that's why we have these recovery apps. Uh, and some other apps of uh, interest is uh, there's a photo hider and locker. This hides and locks your files and it reveals hidden files. Um, there's the memory saver. This uh, saves your phone's memory by sending your files uh, sorted by size. And the photo timestamp, which uh, uh, puts, a, puts a timestamp on all your photos. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much.